fear can dictate your response, but it's how you respond to that fear that will help the response to dictate. Everyone moves with fear. Mm. You know, we're frightened of being on stage. We're frightened of driving a car fast. We're frightened when we go past a bush and it rustles. We're frightened of launching a book. We're frightened of starting a podcast. We're frightened. They were terrified of having a conversation. I was terrified of being them. Mm. You see, I was terrified of being a poor guy that couldn't afford many beers. And here was an opportunity for me to get smart. I was terrified of always riding around on a shitty motorcycle. I was just just appalled that I was always going to work on a rainy building site. That it just forced me to just run away to something better. Fear pushed me to take those chances. So I didn't have the imposter syndrome in the early stages because I was terrified of being my two clowns leaning up against the wall. Yeah. And even now, my life's pretty good. Don't ride shitty motorcycles now. I can afford more beers than I care. But I am terrified of being in the exact same place today as I will be in six months' time. So between now and then, I have to try new things. Mm. I have to have conversations with new people. I have to push myself. And that's what I like to do. I do like to respond to fear in, as I class it, the appropriate way. So I didn't have space Mm. for fear. The doubt came in and the imposter syndrome came in when my wife went, You've already got it. And that's when I sat there and went, oh, shit. You know, now I better change. And there were a two-year period where I was dressing up in new suits and fancy watches. I bought a car, you know, which is unheard of for me, you know. (laughs) Um, I bought a car. I just so badly wanted to impress you that I lost me. And luckily, I went back to it. Um, And now I don't have that imposter syndrome because... I'm not trying to impress you. I'll be the asset that you need Mm. when you need it. But other than that, I've got nothing to prove. 